Hours ago, 10 News was tipped to the death of at least one more person from West Nile virus. Is confirmed, if confirmed, this would make two victims in just the last month. And 10 News reporter Itika Milanis is joining us now from Sharp Grossmont Hospital in the Mesa, where the latest victim died just two days ago. Itika. The person who called us, Steve, told us there have actually been two deaths. One man died here Tuesday at Sharp Grossmont Hospital. The other man died yesterday. But tonight, the county health department will only confirm one of those deaths. Another possible deadly case of West Nile virus here at Sharp Grossmont Hospital. After 10 News got a tip and called the county about this latest case, a health department representative told us the man died October 28th, but he can't confirm it's the mosquito borne virus because the state hasn't confirmed it yet. A source tells 10 News the man was 71 and in excellent health. It's been three weeks since Deborah lost her father to West Nile, the first death in the county since 2007. I can't stop touching him. It's such a loss for the whole family. It started with a mosquito bite. Two weeks later, the 78-year-old came down with what he thought was the flu. Yeah, I brought him in on Monday the 5th. Thursday it went to his brain and um, Friday he passed away. The county vector ecologist told us this mosquito season has been busier than the past five years. And I found this on the state's health department website. The proportion of mosquitoes infected with West Nile virus is at the highest level ever detected in California. Well, Deborah is angry that the county hasn't been more see. vocal or proactive still about some getting green. the message out. And if this virus is here, we got we to gotta get it out there that no one else needs to go through this. Now we're going to continue to ask questions about these two deaths and why the county isn't doing more to get the word out about the higher levels of mosquitoes carrying the West Nile virus. For now, we are live at Sharp Grossmont. Itika Milanis, 10 News.